boys and girls. I said I would be back so we could do an experiment with some colors. For this, you will need some vinegar, some baking soda, and I've got it all put out. And I just used a little aluminum tray. You could use any kind of a, maybe a cookie sheet. You could use a plate even. And then also, an easy way to do it, parents, is if you have a little dropper. Okay, you can use this. Otherwise, you could even use a spoon. And what I've done is I've put a little bit of vinegar in a cup so that it'll be easy for me to get to it. And I'm gonna get some vinegar in my dropper. Now, right now, it just looks white, doesn't it? Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Do you remember what that's called? A reaction. Huh. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But right now, I'm not seeing any colors, are you? some colors now <gasps> what's happening over here <gasps> what color do you see I see some yellow hiding underneath there ooh I wonder if there are any other colors hiding underneath let's see what we can find experiment parents what you need to do to make it a rainbow experiment oh, I see some color coming oh do you see it coming Let's see oh not coming quite yet just barely there Look. Parents, what you need to do to make this a surprise experiment is you need to put some drops. Oh, there's some blue of food coloring on the tray before you put the baking soda down. Okay. Now, since it's very windy out here, and to make this go a little bit faster, I'm just going to pour some vinegar. Here goes. when that blue mixes with that yellow. Oh, I see some green forming over here. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, there's some more blue. Ooh, and there's some red. Red is mixing with the yellow and making some orange, and the blue is mixing with the yellow and making some green. It's kind of hard to see it out here today. The sun's almost too bright. I'm gonna pour a lot here. We're gonna let it fizz and then see what colors we see. <gasps> oh, the blue and red are making some purple. Do you see it? Now, I did this kind of the fast way by pouring some vinegar. What you want to do, parents, is just put a thin layer of baking soda. I may have gotten this a little too thick because the wind was helping me pour. So just get a little bit of baking soda on top. 
just enough to cover up the colors. Do that where the kids can't see you so they don't know where the colors are. And then let them make some magic. Ooh, look at it. When it all mixes up, it almost looks brown. <gasps> we made another new color. Look at that. And again, I have a lot of vinegar in here is why it's all mixing together. Now, the nice thing about this, parents, is if you want, you can actually add to make it react again. So look, I poured some more baking soda on and I've got the fizzes all over again. Now, another thing that you can do with this, if I can find my little, there it is. Okay. You can also use this and get the colors and then drop those colors and you could do this just with regular water. It doesn't need to be the vinegar. Use food coloring with drops of water. Put it on a white paper towel or a white plate. And then when you mix the colors, see what happens. And once it dries, it will look even different, okay? So there's a nice little experiment that you can do at home and see how it turns out. If you do make any pictures, either on paper towels or white pieces of paper, 